Welcome to Health Connection with Kettering Health Network. I'm Chris Wilgus. We're here today with Dr. Harvey Hahn, a cardiologist with Kettering Physician Network. Thank you for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, we want to talk about heart screenings this morning, and there are a lot of different types of heart screenings, correct? Uh, yes, there are. There's uh, multiple different types ranging from blood tests, um, imaging tests, to even more invasive tests to see how bad your cardiovascular risk is. Who should get one of these screenings? Um, the simple answer is everyone. Um, and the reason being is um, there's a lot of people that are asymptomatic that will eventually have heart disease. People don't understand this, but the number one cause or number one symptom of heart disease um, is sudden cardiac death. So you, everyone's had a person or a friend who's been doing great, all of a sudden they keel over and they're dead, and that's because they had a, their first heart attack. So the first sign often is, is dying. And what you want to do is you want to catch people well before that happens. Uh, personally, the youngest heart attack patient I've taken care of is 17 years old. My partners are taking care of a 15-year-old has, that's had a heart attack. Um, so this is a very young age group that typically thinks they're going to live forever, has no problems. The other interesting data from the American Heart Association is the fastest growing age group for stroke is young men aged 15 to 34. So we're talking about we need to screen and get this younger population to identify who's really at risk for having heart attack or stroke. How young do you think people should start getting these screenings then? Because it sounds like, I mean, teenagers are rarely, but sometimes susceptible to it. How, how young should you even start? Now, there's a, a kind of a break. Uh, general internal medicine people don't really take care of people until they're 18 years old. But even the pediatric population, the pediatric doctors are now checking cholesterol much earlier. They're weighing um, kids or checking BMI, which is body mass index, which is the ratio of your height and weight, to kind of screen for people that um, may be at more risk for high cholesterol than vascular disease. Also, they always check blood pressure on kids at the office visits, and that's another screen for having vascular disease. How easy is it to get a heart screen? You said there are some invasive ones, but some of them are, are pretty simple. Yeah, the, the first thing you should do is on the heart screen is you should know your numbers. That's really important. You know, you know your, what your weight is, your waist circumference, that's a risk factor, your body mass index, which is your weight to height ratio. Um, but then the important numbers are your blood pressure and your cholesterol. And if you have high sugars or normal sugars, which means you're diabetic or not diabetic. And those can all be obtained by checking your blood pressure and then a really simple blood test. And then you'll know what your risk profile is. Great. You can find out more about your heart health at KetteringHealth.org. You can find doctors like Dr. Harvey Hahn here at KetteringPhysicianNetwork.org. Keep watching for more Health Connection podcasts and subscribe to the audio version on iTunes as well. Thank you, Dr. Hahn. Thank you.